AI is a hot topic nowadays, and I'm sure that many of us, myself included, are sick of hearing about it. But it's undeniable that the advent of AI is creating an exciting new ecosphere of technology. A comment in my recent video on avoiding boring writing, check it out, asked if and how I use AI in my writing. As someone who is willing to give AI a chance, I thought that this idea was worth expanding on. Now, I use AI in other capacities with image generation or with programming, but I've never really explored what tools are available for creative writing. So this video is a two-part video. The first part is about how I use AI in my current writing process. The tools that I use are readily available to help you create your story. The second part, coming in the future, is an exploration into all of the AI tools marketed to creative writers. Do they take some of the soul out of writing? Are they useful sets of tools and quality of life features that can help you write quicker? Or are they just a quick money grab on that crest of the AI wave? Before we continue, how do you use AI in your writing? Are you for or against our future AI overlords? And be careful what you say because you know they're gonna read this. Comment below. First, let me introduce myself because in areas like this, it's important to understand one's experience with this technology. I've been working in the software as a service industry for almost a decade, and I've been very close to those who are implementing AI into the various tools that you might use. And because of this, I have very strong feelings on what AI means for the future of tech. But as a writer, what does it mean for us? Are our jobs threatened by AI? Will creative writing and science fiction and fantasy and horror all be done by an AI one day in the future? This sort of conversation was partially the subject of the recent writer strikes in Hollywood. Writers wanted protections against being forced to use AI to write or even being largely replaced by AI. In a situation that was already rife with exploitation, AI made that conversation so much more complex. In creative writing, it is a possibility that AI could one day create long form text content, but that day is not today. ChatGPT and Llama are the two biggest names in generative AI but they are still not creating long form content like novels. All right, so technically they can do this, but with how pricing works with AI, with tokens and how much resource power that you use when you generate stuff, it's not economically viable right now. You can't look at 50,000 words so you can generate the next couple paragraphs. Technically possible, but not really feasible for a consumer. Just an editor's note length and memory and creativeness are all limiting factors to AI right now. I remember it being said that with the popularity of ChatGPT, that there is a worry that Amazon would be flooded with AI generated eBooks. And that's totally possible. But at this point, unless it was a collection of short stories or poetry, I don't believe long form content made by AI would be mistaken for human storytelling. But hey, with all that out of the way, with an understanding of what AI cannot do yet, let's talk about what it can do right now. And I'll start with how I use AI in my writing. AI is a tool, not like as an insult, but like it's a tool, you know, like it's meant as a supplemental action to help you get the results that you want. And for me, that mostly means using AI for benefiting my own ideas. So let's check out tool number one. When I write, I like to cast my story. I find images of people who closely match the vision of my characters. It may be a celebrity, it might include me scrolling through a database of models, or even sometimes a picture of a person that I know. And I find the casting of a character very memorable to me because when I write, it's like watching a movie in my mind. Now, I write fantasy. And often, I might need to cast a character with very specific attributes. Maybe it's a monster, or a barbarian, or an elf, or an orc. And for all of that, I use Midjourney. Sometimes I'm able to bring over the very description I've already written for a character into Midjourney and render a portrait of that character. 
Midjourney does such a great job at this that sometimes the image it creates might include details that change my original description. And having this picture of my character adds just a little bit of inspiration to my writing and gets me more excited to write these characters. The visuals aren't going into my novel, it's not like pictures in the book, but they help me as the writer better visualize the world I'm creating. And that brings us to tool number two. In rare cases, usually out of curiosity, I found that ChatGPT is useful for things like character names or location names. And when using it in this way, I can pass in whatever information that I want to, to nudge the AI's output in the direction that I need. Instead of just searching for names inspired by a certain language or region or time period or a character's specific traits, I can ask ChatGPT to do it for me. And I actually think that this is a great use for AI. I'm still the one deciding on the name of the character, but I want inspiration. It's not much different from using fantasy name generator or looking through a list of baby names, but it's way more efficient. Maybe it nails the name on the first try. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it gives me a name that's not quite right, but it makes the right name pop into my head. The great thing about this is I can also ask for more information. For example, I like to name some of my characters based on a defining quality of them. And if I'm doing something like that, I can ask the AI for why it's suggesting me this particular name for this character. And that information is just useful to know. AI provides results based on the data that it's trained on. That data is full of the same kind of information that I would look up in my own research. In this case, going to chat GPT is simply a matter of efficiency. I highly recommend that you play around with ChatGPT in this way because it can become a really useful tool for these kind of endeavors. By the way, if you want a video on how to name your characters, let me know down below. It's one of the few things I think I'm kind of good at. All right, all right, tool number three. So far, all of the uses of AI have been in helping inspire my writing, but is there any use for AI for after I've done that writing? When I'm no longer trying to be inspired or creative, and in situations like this, AI can excel. Years ago, I invested in a lifetime subscription to Pro Writing Aid. This is a software that I bought that specifically works with my writing tool of choice, Scrivener. This is a tool that helps ensure during the editing process that I'm not making any silly grammatical errors or amateur syntax mistakes. They recently added a feature for identifying difficult sentences and using AI to suggest a new way to say what you want to say. I also use this when I may be ghostwriting and I have a deliverable for a customer. If I ever need it, this is like spell checker on steroids and I could use it for work, professional emails, or any other writing I might need to do. It's a versatile tool and one that I'm always happy to have in my toolbox. That's about it for how I use AI. It's all supplemental. It's not pawning off writing to an AI tool so that I don't have to do it. It's including an external tool in my brainstorming or my editing process. And that process could always change. And if I find a new tool to add to my toolbox, I'll let you know. Until then, AI isn't replacing me, it's assisting me. The next video in the series will explore AI products marketed to creative writers. Will they try to do the writing for me? Will they provide a toolbox to help me write? If you're interested in what comes next, make sure to like and subscribe below. And who knows, maybe we'll find that there is a complete game-changing software out there that increases writing productivity by some crazy amount. Stick around to find out.